Hey guys, welcome to Sci-Fi Saturday, and we're going to be playing Galaxy Defenders. We're continuing our through, and we're going to be playing a special mission. Uh, we got all new recruits except for the tank. <clears throat> he uh, carries over his stuff from last time from he survived. As you can see, the board is set up, and we have, as you can see, Predators, and we have Aliens. That's right. It's a special mission from some of the Kickstarter stuff that you got from uh, Galaxy Defenders where they included Predators and Aliens. And this is Mission X-1 The Hive. You can get it on their website. It says, basically, the agency's radar detected that an unidentified object crashed down into the Amazon forest, and so the agents are summoned back from their holidays. The briefing room's door closes as the mission data is uploaded on the gigantic screen. Agents, the situation is extremely critical. It seems the flying object exploded in flight and split into two as it crashed on the ground. We detect alien life forms different from those hitherto unknown. Please use extreme caught and then it crashed. The door suddenly burst open and four agents find themselves gazing at it. The huge agent Titanium wearing an old-fashioned leather jacket and big gold chain around his neck. As he enters the room, Titanium growls, those aliens, they'll pay for this. Taken away from my motorcycle, from the highways, and it's burning sun. Ha ha ha. <laughs> okay. Then the briefing room resumes with laughing teams, with the laughing team reunited. Agents, your mission is to patrol the battlefield, evaluate the enemy forces, and wait for your next contact. Go, go, go. Okay, so <clears throat> we have um, two signals in play. We have a couple teleport points. And then, like I said, we have predators and we have aliens on board, uh, on, on the board, as well as a few... Uh, Arachnos and some spine critters and also the biotech is going to be using this sentry this time he's a little bit better we're going to need it because as you can see this is the first time we have red aliens that's right uh, green are the easier blue are the harder and red are the hardest so we're going to need all the help we can get I, I pretty much expect to get wiped out however our event deck is not as long as usual so, what do we have to do to accomplish our mission? <clears throat> well, we do have some special rules. So let's let's go over the special rules. The predators are what they call Xeno Hunters. If any Xeno Hunter dies, remove it from play by discarding its figure, an alien card, in the warehouse instead of the discard pile. So that means he's not coming back in. Xeno Morphs. Once all three Xeno Hunters are dead, there's two on the board now, one can come in. If any Xenomorph dies, remove it from play the same way. And there's a, two reds in play, another red can come in, and one blue and one green can come in. Alright. Agents may perform a search action in any building room on the J2 map. <clears throat> okay. And the mission ends in the strategy phase of the 10th round. We accomplish our mission if there are no more Xeno Hunter and Xenomorph in play at the end of the mission. So we try to kind of kill all three. I mean, all, both different types. All of them. And we partially accomplish if there are no more Xeno Hunters in play at the end of the mission. Okay. And we fail if at least one Xeno Hunter is in play at the end of the mission. Okay. So, uh... <clears throat> On the board right now, it's going to be very bad looking. We got two Xenomorphs, two Xeno Hunters, one Arachnos, and one Spine Critter on the board. And, um, yeah. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, um, as you can see, we have Jungle here. Uh, we have a, kind of like an indoor on both sides and then uh, a jungle which we are in the middle of so let's uh, get everything going and we'll start alright so um, <clears throat> as you can see we have these green uh, we haven't played with these yet uh, they're like the regular purple up there or down here they block line of sight and movement so you can't cross either of them and they do block line of sight so I think we'll start <laughs> uh, we'll start down here I guess we'll go this way first why not you know 
we can choose to go forward or backward. Um, I don't really don't want to split anybody up, but here we go. <clears throat> Let's uh, <clears throat> move our sniper. One, two, three, four. Ah, man, that's gonna be rough. So, oh, 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 this right here, I, I'm missing a lock token. I'm missing one of these tokens. So I put this, this is going to be that. So it's another door, okay? Um, just in case you notice that. Okay. Um, hmm, let's go here. Where do we want to go? That's uh Wow, let me think. I should I guess I should have thought, huh? Um <clears throat> Okay. One two Well no, I'll tell you what we'll do. <clears throat> oh boy. Um, man, I really, it's, <laughs> really, boy, we're, we're, let me, let me think. All right, if, uh, I think I'm going to take a little bit of a risk of a move, I may split the team up into two. Uh, I know that's worked well for me before, but here we go. I'm going to move her. One, two, three. She's gonna go in the building. Four, five. Okay. <clears throat> and then, um, I'm going to move the, she can't do anything. I mean, <clears throat> the predators are right there out of her line of sight. The spine critters out of her line of sight. She can only move five, so. Uh, I would stop right there and attack, but I want to do something with the sniper. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move him. One, two, three. Okay, he's in the doorway, and he's going to actually attack the uh, Xeno Hunter right there. <clears throat> um, I get four reds. See here, and then uh, I'm going to play his. I know it's a little early, but you know, we do get them back somewhat. And I'm going to play his tactic, his basic tactic, where he gets plus one hit result. So that's what I'm going to do with him. So let's see. <clears throat> okay, well, that's not too bad. Uh, I don't have any jams. I do have four hits. So I have four hits on the uh, Predator. And the uh, <clears throat> Predators do come with armor. The Xenomorphs come with armor as well. I don't... But they have to roll a Surge to get the armor. So... Uh, we'll see. Okay, well... I rode so bad, or so good for the Predator. Look at that. Yowzer. He got three shields and one surge, so that's not going to be a hit. So that's... I didn't even damage the guy. <laughs> God damn it. Here we go again. Okay. Now I'm moving our main Marine. I'm going to move him one, two, three, four. And he is, as well, kind of, because the Predator's right here, he, so he really can't see him. I'm going to move my uh, Biotech. He's going to move four. One, two, three, four. And the tank is just going to move back one, two, three. That's all he can really do. All right, and that's the end of the turn. So let's have a close... Oh, shoot. 
Wait, but you know what I forgot? Okay, let's 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 do this all over again. I moved her. I got to do a close encounter card. <clears throat> Activate all aliens. All right. So let's see what we do. First, the xenomorphs, which are the aliens. Um, move up to three areas towards the closest agent. <clears throat> Uh, they really, that's going to have to be because they don't see anybody. So that, that's what it happens there. So they got to move three area towards the closest agent. Um, they have to move out the doors. The, the quickest way out is this way. So we're going to move them one, two, three. Same with him. One, two, three. Okay, so the Xenomorphs are done. <clears throat> the Xeno Hunters are not in anybody's line of sight. Now, he, she is not in his line of sight. Um, you cannot do line of sight through a doorway. You can walk through a doorway, but you don't do line of sight through a doorway. He doesn't have any line of sight. So they have a move one area towards the closest agent thing. So he's moving here. Uh, we have one, two, one, two, three. So he's gonna actually going to go inside. <clears throat> one. <clears throat> okay. Then we have spine critters. I mean, let's do the arachnos next. We have one of them out. Move up to three areas towards the most wounded agent. Well, nobody's really wounded, but basically he's going to move here with these guys as well. And then we have the spine critter. And the spine critter moves two areas. He does not see her as well, so he will move here. All right, now he can see her, and then that's it. Okay, now I'm going to go um, with my Iridium, the sniper. And like I said, we're going to move one, two, three. And he's in the doorway, so he's going to shoot the predator. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to uh, use my passive ability. No, I can't do that. Okay, that was not very good. I got three hits in the jam. However, I will use my adrenaline to perform an extra attack during combat. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> um, let's roll for the first one. Oh, no, I didn't get a jam. I got a freaking surge so three hits four and then so okay four hits if I use my tactic okay I actually did better that time he only took had two shields so um, he takes the predator takes two damage um, with that one and then I'm going to use my adrenaline and attack again One, two, okay. Well, I gotta use an ammo. Alright, so I gotta use an ammo. So let's do that. I have one, two hits <clears throat> that time. And, alright, he blocked one of them. So <clears throat> this predator now took three damage. Okay. And they have uh, <clears throat> eight hit points, by the way. <laughs> it's no easy thing. Luckily, though, they do not have a regenerate. So, there's that. Alright, so next close encounter, activate no aliens. Okay, that's good. Um, what do I want to do? Now, we still cannot see... I guess you can see this sick... No? I mean, I don't know. This is really... Let's say she can see the signal. So, we're going to... I made a mistake. I probably should have did that. I'm not. I'm saying she can't see it. She's like tucked in right here, so that signal's still unseen. So let's uh, I want to move him. So we'll move him one, two, three, four. We'll move him there. He really can't do anything. <clears throat> Let me see. I uh, he no. He has no line of sight on anybody. 
So, uh, okay, so that's it for that. So let's activate. Activate all Xenomorph. Okay, <clears throat> so we have the two Xenomorph over there. Now, they don't have line of sight on anybody either. This is blocking line of sight. They are right at the corner, so tank is not seen. So again, they move three areas towards the closest agent, which would be him. So it's going to be one, two, three. And then, oops, let's get that fixed. And then right here is where we're going. Okay. So now it's going to be Tank's turn. <clears throat> and he's definitely going to attack. I'm thinking about doing area damage, actually. Um... To be honest with you, I think I am. So I'm gonna give up an ammo. I'm gonna do area damage. I get three dice, and I get to re-roll if I need to. I have my basic tactic, and I think I do. I think I will discard one more ammo to do an extra damage. Okay, well. That was terrible. I only got one hit and I got a jam. Okay, I'm gonna re-roll, actually. I'm gonna re-roll the jam there. Okay. All right, so I do not have a jam. My jam is gone, I spent this to re-roll that. Okay, so I have two three four hits actually if I count the extra ammo I got because I got one hit regular hit and the surge and the surge equals two hits three and I gave up one ammo so that's three hits okay so three hits to each area damage and these guys have six hit points so let's roll for them. All right, two shields. So one of them takes one damage. Let's say that one takes one damage. Uh, that one takes two damage. All right, so this one takes two damage. Okay, so that's it. <clears throat> Close encounters phase. Activate all red aliens. E -e -e -e. <laughs> this is going to be bad. Okay, so we'll do the xenomorph first. <clears throat> And we know what they're going to do. If adjacent to an immobilized agent, the agent suffers two wounds. Okay, we're well not immobilized. Otherwise, they have a way to immobilize people. Um, okay, they have acid blood, and instead of dying, um, when an Attack deals damage to Xenomorph. All adjacent agents suffer one wound. So I got to roll for my... Because he's he was next to the Xenomorph. So I got to roll. Okay. Both of them. So they suffer each one wound. And then Tank's got to suffer a roll for another wound on that one. And he got a shield. So okay. Alright, now let's look at the Mobilize. Um... If you get a surge when they roll or die, they can immobilize you. So <clears throat> let's hope they don't get a surge. We're attacking with our razor claws. It's five red die. And that is horrible. Here we go. Okay, wow. Tank just took a damn beating. Tank got one, two, three, four, five, six hits. Plus a surge, so he's going to be immobilized. Now he does have that plus one shield when defense against three or more hits. So, all right, he got one shield, no surges. Holy shit, two shields. So he takes four damage, and he is immobilized. God. All right. Biotech here. I'm rolling so good for the aliens. I'm rolling so crappy for the heroes. Okay, he took one, two, three, four hits. No surges, so he is not immobilized. 
And he rolls. Okay, his thing heals one. So if Surge heals one. So we're going to heal that. And then he rolled the shield. So he's going to take three damage. <clears throat> okay. Yikes. Okay, it is the biotech's turn. And he's going to go. And he has a shotgun. And his thing, remember, his thing does area damage as well. And if we get a surge. Uh, it's a plus one hit. Well, we did. We got two surges. So, uh, three hits. Alright, so it's going to be area damage. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay, this one takes one more damage. <clears throat> and this one takes one more damage. Okay, and that's it for now. Um, and then he's going to spend an action. And he's going to deploy his sentry. And this sentry can move, which is a cool thing. All right. And now we do a close encounter phase. Activate all Xeno Hunters. Okay, so we have two right here. Uh, we know one's going to attack. Um, he is kind of right here, so he still doesn't have line of sight. So he's going to move one towards the closest agent, and then this other one will attack. And I guess... Uh, He'll attack the, the chick. And he rolls, let's see, uh, attack with fist blade, which is five blue dice. A surge means minus two defense dice. Well, he got the surge. He got one, two, three, four, four hits. Uh, so he, she only rolls three. All right, she rolls... A surge and a shield so she takes one damage okay and that is the end of the round so let's do a close uh, event card all right fog agents range weapons have the range reduced by one all signals move one area is towards the closest agent okay so this signal is going to move here oops and this signal is going to move here and we're kind of still technically out of line of sight uh, we have to teleport if the aliens are greater they are they are greater so we don't have to teleport in any okay so that's our event okay so let's see what we're gonna do I think the first thing I want to do is I want to I'm probably gonna go maybe in reverse again I don't know um, Let's do him. We just get him in there. Remove him one, two, three, four. Okay. And I guess he really still doesn't have line of sight. Um, however, I wonder if we can do area. He can do area damage. <clears throat> so what I want to do, he can shoot at that area. I'm going to give up one ammo, and I'm going to uh, let him do uh, damage, or roll to see if we can do area damage. Okay, well, he does do area damage. He does three hits, and they're all, they are minus one defense die. So that's two shields. Okay, for the first Predator... Well, he rolled two shields, so he's not taking any damage. And the other Predator... Oh, he's taking one damage, yeah. The other Predator takes two. So he takes... He takes one. He takes two. Okay. And that is it. <clears throat> Close Encounters phase. 
activate all wounded aliens. Okay, so we got a lot of wounded aliens on the board. And I just wounded some. So we'll start with the Xenomorphs. And again, um, we're going to do what they did last time. However, remember the tank is immobilized. So uh, he's going to attack the medic with his razor claws. Okay. And let's see, one, two, three hits, and immobilize. However, he does get to defend. All right, three shields, so he is not immobilized. No, he didn't take any damage. Now the tank's turn. He's immobilized, and they have a different attack. It says, uh, if the suffers two wounds. Okay, so he suffers two wounds. So let's see if he can block those. Okay, blocks one, so he takes one more wound. Okay. All right, now the two Xeno Hunters, <clears throat> we're gonna have one attack old girl and then one attack the sniper. And uh, we'll start with the girl, I guess. And remember, uh, Fist Blade. Two hits, that's it. She's able to block that. All right, and on the sniper, one, two, three, four hits, and he's minus two defense die. Okay, so he takes, uh, he got one shield, two damage, so he takes two damage. Okay, and that is that turn. Um. Man. Okay, we'll start with him. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is he's going to have the sentry attack. The sentry rolls five die. And does area damage. Three, four, five die and area damage. Okay, so it's only two hits. One blocked. The other blocked. Well, that sucks. Yeah. Hmm. You know what? I'm not going to do that. I know that's kind of a cheese ball, but I was just looking at the thing. I That thing <clears throat> can move. It's not engaged with anything. So what I'll probably do is I forgot about that, that, that he can move. So I'm going to move the sentry. He's going to move here. And then I'll have him just turn that way. Now my he can, he can attack. And remember, he has area damage too. He has the shotgun. Okay, wow. That was excellent. That was three, four damage to each. Okay, well, however, four damage to each. This one right here did not block anything. Uh, oh, no, yes, he did. He got one shield. He got one lightning bolt. So, uh, that's three damage. So, he's at five. Yeah, five damage. One more and he's dead. And now we're going to roll uh, for our guys uh, to see if they can not take a wound. Okay, tank takes a wound. Another guy takes a wound. So, four. And three. Okay. Now, however, the other one has to roll his defense die as well. He rolled no surges. However, he did roll a shield. So he takes. It was four. How much damage did I do that? I did four damage. Wait a minute. I did four damage. The guy rolled three. So he is dead. I'm sorry. 
They're both dead. Okay. Alright, so these two guys are dead. Okay. Wow. However, they have this thing. When Xeno Hunter dies, attack all agents within one area, three red. So, let's do that. Okay, two hits for the uh, medic. Three shields, no damage. The tank is going to. We did. Uh, tank is going to. Oh, that's right. He's going to roll for his defense. Okay, he got it. He blocked it. And now the remember the the uh, the droid is in one area as well. However, he rolled two shields. Okay, so he blocked both those hits. Now the other alien, when it blew up, let's roll for it. And that's, wow, they see that's worse. That's four hits. Eesh. Okay, well, <clears throat> he heals two. So let's put him down to two. I mean, he heals to three. Sorry, let's put him down to three. <clears throat> he rolled one shield. And so he's going to take two hits. So he's up to five. Tank rolls. Well, he rolled two shields. So he's going to take one. And of course, that thing didn't roll any shields. So he's taking three damage. Okay. Wow. But we killed the two uh, Xenomorphs. So, remember though, they can come back in. Um, let me see. Yeah, they can come back in because the Xeno Hunters are not dead. If any Xeno, if the once all, if any Xeno, yeah, so they can come back in. <clears throat> However. We're going to get a piece of alien tech this round. Or we're going to get that. And we're going to get the roll for our GD wings at the end of the round because we finally killed somebody. Okay, so that was a good turn by him with the shotgun. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, let's do our close encounters phase. Activate all arachnos. Okay, all right, we have one arachnos in there. Uh, remember the arachnos... Uh, does not see he does not have a thing on anybody so he's going to move three areas towards the most wounded agent one two three so he's moving there okay that's it for him now let us do the uh, see I did him we did him um, let's do tank hell the arachnos is right there Let's go ahead and kill that thing. Or try to kill it. It's a green one, so it shouldn't be that bad, you know. I say that, but I roll like crap. Okay, so I rolled three, but I did get a jam. Let's do that. Four damage on him. He blocked two, so he has two damage. Okay, and that's the end of that turn. Um, activate all Xenomorph. All right, no Xenomorph in play. We got lucky. We got a freebie. Let's do the sniper. He's going to shoot at the Predator. Uh, remember, he has four red dice. Okay, well, he got a jam, but he's not going to jam. So he got two hits. Awful. You may skip movement to re-roll. All failed die. Okay, I'm going to do that. We're not going to move. Alright, that's a lot better. That's one, two, three, four, five hits. That's 
It's a lot better. He rolled one shield, no surge. So, four damage, four and four is eight. He kills the Xeno Hunter. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, <clears throat> I'm sorry. They're the ones that do the suicide. I hadn't played with these guys in a while, I guess you can tell. So actually, the other guys should not have got the damage that they did with the Xenomorphs when they blew up. Because remember, we rolled for wounds, so they'll be alright. The Xeno Hunter does the thing where the, the crap blows up within one area. And now, however, that also includes... Uh, other aliens as well. It includes everybody. It's suicide. Attack all ages within one area. Okay, well, never mind. However, I think that that's going to, that's we're going to do that because that makes sense. I mean, we've all seen the Predator movies where the thing, do, 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 you know, you know, hits the little wrist thing and it blows up. Anything in that blast would have been hurt. So we're going to do it like that. However, the Xenomorph has a special thing. The Xenomorph considers an Xeno Hunter to be an agent. So if they ever get back on the board, <clears throat> they will attack the Predators. And vice versa. The Xeno Hunter considers any Xenomorph to be an agent. So they will attack each other. However, uh, this one right here is going to blow. All right. So we're going to roll three red dice within one area and that's this area this area this area this area th that area so this is gonna be a lot of stuff happening oh my goodness and look at what I rolled one two three four five hits okay first the sentry droid no shields alright the sentry droid is dead he's out now I can send it back for reinforcements now the sniper. Okay, he rolled two shields, so he takes three damage. And he's close to dying. But we'll take him out. Okay, we can remove him from the game. Okay, now we'll do this predator right here. Okay. He takes no damage. We'll do her. She takes one damage. We'll do the spine critter. Okay, it rolled one shield. Does it have a thing? No. Okay, so it takes two damage. <clears throat> Okay, and then he is also in one area, even though he's at the very end of it. He's still in that area. Okay, he gets to reroll all failed defense die. And he takes one damage. Okay. So the sniper did a good good thing there. And let's uh, do our close encounters phase. Activate all spine critter. Okay, so we have a spine critter in play. <clears throat> And he's going to attack. And, um, of course, he's going to attack old girl there, because she's right there. Um, and uh, let's see here. It says move. Okay, so he's going to move here and attack with the jaws, which is three reds. He got two hits. It's her defense die. She blocked them both. No, no, no harm, no foul. Okay, so uh, now let's do her. Man, I tell you what, we're gonna. What? Do, who do I should? Who should I attack? Should I attack the predator or the spine critter? Well, I want to attack the predator. I guess we want to get that done. So let's do four red. Your next attack causes minus one defense die. We will do that. 
Okay, well she does one, two, three, four hits minus another defense die. So this predator is only going to get two defense die. Dang, took four hits, two defense die. It rolled one shield, so it's going to take three wounds. So it is two and three is five. So it is at five damage. Okay, and activate all Xeno Hunter. Well, we have one in there, and of course, he's going to attack her with uh, claws. Yeah, with claws. Fist blade. Five blue. That's one. Only two hits. That's pretty good. No surges. She rolls two shields. Okay, and so that's the end of that. Let's have our uh, next event card. Special Event D. Okay, so let's read and see what Special Event D says. Um, okay. A loud sudden noise as the agent's turning towards a nearby palm tree. From the crown of the tree, a human corpse falls, befed of his skin. At that moment, the agents realize they are surrounded by human skulls exhibited almost a almost as hunting trophies a hunt in which the next prey seems to be the agents themselves an unsettling noise heralds the appearance of a swarm of alien creatures alpha agent yells are coming out of the bloody walls the hu calls agents your mission is to engage and eliminate all the xeno hunter and xenomorphs these life forms must be stopped before it's too late okay now we have to do a couple things here we have to first thing teleport the green xenomorph Adjacent to the red xenomorph closest to an agent. Okay, well, there are none on the board. Uh, if any. Otherwise, teleport it to the TP closest to the agent. Um, that's going to be this one. So the green xenomorph is going to teleport right here. And we'll go ahead and assign that to the alpha agent. Teleport the blue xenomorph adjacent to the red xenomorph. Okay, well, we don't have any red ones. And teleport it on the TP furthest from an agent. Okay, well, that would definitely be one up here. Okay, and we'll give that to the alpha agent as well. All right. Shuffle the close encounters 18 into the card, into the close encounters deck. Okay. All right, we're doing that. Okay, so we've done that. Let me shuffle the deck, and we'll get our, our next turn going. Okay, it's a roll for Galaxy Wings for everybody. He didn't get any. The Medic? Nope. Tank? No. Sniper? No. Now, when I do a two-hit, like when I do the hit rolls, I roll GDs all the time. I can't roll GDs to save my life on this. No, not one GD. Okay. All right. All right, let's start with our Marine agent. I'm going to uh, do this action. I'm going to do his spy drone. Mm, no, I'm not. Not yet. Um, okay, uh, what's he going to do? I'm going to do that area damage thing again. Now, I've not been able to use his passive ability, which I get a free attack on a revealed alien, so. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm going to do air, try to do area damage again. Over here. Alright. Three hits. And we'll roll for the Predator first. Okay, well he rolled two shields. So he only takes one damage. The Spine Critter. Got two shields, so he only takes one damage. So that did not work out to what I wanted to. 
Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and spin my axe down. I'm going to heal back to full. Why not? Alright, Close Encounters deck, and we have Activate All Xeno Hunter. Of course, the he would attack that one, but remember, she is the closest agent, so he's going to attack with his fist again. Five dice. Oh, wow. One hit, but she only gets to roll three defense die. But she got a shield, so there's no problem with that. All right, um, the medic's turn. Uh, there's the arachnos standing right there in front of us. Uh, however, eh, he's still okay. Remember, he sent this droid up for reinforcements, so he's going to attack. Um, he's actually going to. <clears throat> He's going to attack the Arachnos. How about that? With the shotgun. One, two, three, four, five hits, although he did get a jam. All right. The Arachnos rolls two shields. <clears throat> so he kills the Arachnos. So the Arachnos is dead, so we will get another piece of alien tech piece. The Arachnos is dead. We can get rid of that. And, um... Yeah, that's it for his turn. Alright, Close Encounters card. Activate all Arachnos. If there are no Arachnos in play, teleport. Well, dang it. Okay, so let's teleport one in, see where it pops up at. It pops up at the blast. Or at lightning bolt. So the, the Arachnos teleports back in. Right here at the lightning bolt. So we'll just put it... Right here. Okay, so our tank's turn, and he's going to just unjam his weapon. There's really not much he can do, and that's that. Activate all Xenomorph. Okay, here we go. We got two Xenomorphs going. Now, however, we have some interesting things. Now, of course, remember, we have this one. And remember, he doesn't see anything, so he's going to move up to three areas. One, two, three. Just like before. However, this guy right here is the closest agent. As a matter of fact, he has no line of sight on her. He really has no line of sight on him. So he has line of sight on the Predator. So uh, what he's going to do... Uh, oh, well, no, he doesn't do that. It's only the red ones that do that. I guess so. Okay, so he's going to just basically... He cannot see... Yeah, I guess he's like the drone ones, I guess. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three. It's equal effect. He's going to move two areas towards the closest agent. Um, We'll move him here. Okay. All right, Sniper's turn. And he's got a, that spine critter's all in his way now. So he's going to shoot the spine critter. And he hits twice, but the spine creator rolls shields, so no damage. Next turn, activate all spine critter. All right. Well, we know he's going to attack um, her with his jaws. Actually. He's adjacent to two or more agents, so he's going to attack him with his spine, which is three blue. Uh, he gets one hit. So she gets to defend. She got it. Sniper gets to defend. 
he got it. Okay. And now it's her turn, and she is again going to attack the predator. She has four red die. She's attacking him with the sword. And that's one, two, three. Three hits. He's minus one defense die. And he rolls two shields, so he's only going to take one more damage. Damn. So he's at seven. One more and he's dead. And now we do another activate all Xenomorph. <clears throat> okay, let's start with the blue one. He still doesn't have line of sight on anybody. So he's going to move three. One, two, three. He's there. However, he does have line of sight, and he's the green, and he's going to attack with claws, and that's three red. And he gets one, two, three hits. Okay, however, he got two shields, so he's going to take... Oh, no, he don't... Yeah, no, yeah, he's going to take... One damage. Three. Yeah, okay. Okay, and that's the end of that round. So let's have our next event. Clear sky. Weather effect, none. All signals move one area towards the closest agent. Okay, so, alright, now we're going to have... What? This one's not in line of sight of anybody still. However, this one is. So it's going to move... Actually, here, we're going to flip it. We got a signal. So we're going to have to do a new alien, and we have a green spine critter pop up right here. Okay, and let's see. We'll put that with the blue there. All right. And let's see how many we have to teleport. Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six aliens. So we want to teleport in aliens. Okay. So it's our hero's turn, and we'll start with the Marine again. He's got this Xenomorph right on him. And uh, I think he's going to go ahead and attack it. And he's, you know, using his gun. He has three red die. Okay, well, he gets one hit. Thing only gets two dice. And it blocked it. So there's that. So that's. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got to roll for GD. I'm sorry. All right, he rolls, he gets one. Okay, so he gets a, a basic tactic. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, one skill. So we give him a skill. All right, that's NPC. We don't have NPCs in this. Uh, reduce the cost of one your maneuver. Reduce the battery or power armor. We don't have any of that. Come on. Add two defense dice. Well, okay. Well, we'll take cover. All right, that's a skill. We'll take that. All right, biotech. He got a GD. Ignore all when using alien weapons. That's nah, not really one we need, but okay. Tank. He got a GD. Each surge counts as a hit. Well, he's that's a sniper, so he can't use that. I want to risk battery no. If your next melee attack deals damage to an ace until the end of the turn, you are not considered. And that's an infiltrator. Okay, I'm having a hard time finding the skills here. Okay. Uh, again, with the alien weapons, it's not going to help. And I did find one for the sniper, so we'll... Here we go, eagle eye. If he, if he passes, if he gets it. Gotta get it first. He does not get it. And then the infiltrator, she got it. And we have one for the infiltrator. Okay, right here, Gambit. Okay. 
All right. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Um, I remember I did poorly with the Marine, so that was his turn. So let's do a Close Encounters card. Activate all swarm units. Okay. Um, all swarm units are... The only swarm units we have on the board right now are the Xenomorphs. So basically we're going to activate all them. And they have that swarm thing. Uh, swarm. They have swarm unit. So that when, uh, when attacking, plus one blue die for each Xenomorph in the unit. So, I guess I get a, an extra blue die uh, for doing a swarm type thing. So let's start with them. We have the blue one up there. He'll attack the tank. He's right next to the guy. He attacks with a bite. That's four red die. And a blue die. Okay, that's one, two, three, four. Four hits. And he's minus two defense die. However, he did get a shield. So he's three. So he's up to ten damage. He's hurting. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. He's only two damage. I forgot his passive ability. Okay. Alright, now this one here gets to attack. And he's attacking with the claws. And he gets three red die plus a blue die. One, two, three, four hits. Okay, so he takes three damage. Okay, it's Biotech's turn. He's going to unjam his weapon. And that's going to do his move and his action. And he's going to uh, attack the Xenomorph. Man, I don't know if I should do that. I don't know if, I, or if maybe I should heal. Heal the tank. I'll give it one more round, maybe. Okay, well that's one, two, three hits on him. Uh, two shields, one damage. Okay. And close encounters card. Activate no aliens. Okay, it's the tank's turn. And he's going to attack. He does one, two, three, four, five damage. That thing rolled three shields. So that takes two damage. All right. It's going to kill it. However, we forgot to roll for suffering wounds. So let's roll for the biotech for last turn. Okay, he got it. He healed, and then so basically that tank got it. All right, this round, he got it. And the tank takes one more wound however this xenomorph <clears throat> is dead so we killed that xenomorph and we get another alien tech thing right, I guess that will go up there so this xenomorph is out Okay, and now it is a uh, Close Encounters card. Activate all aliens. E -e -e -e. Okay, well, let's start. Uh, we'll start with this Xenomorph right here. He will attack. He doesn't have the swarm thing anymore, so that's fine. He's going to attack with his claws. Two hits. And we are able to... We get to re-roll. Alright, we're able to block that, so that's fine. Uh, Xeno Hunter, he's attacking the female. And he has the fist. He gets one, two, three, four, four hits. She's minus two defense dice. However, uh, she rolls one, so she's going to take three damage. She got whopped that time. Alright. Um, the spine critters. This spine critter really can't do anything. I mean, to be honest with you. 
Um, he's not adjacent to two. He's stuck there, so he really can't attack. However, this one is adjacent to two, so he will attack with his uh, spine, which is three blue die. We'll start with him, and he miss. Doesn't get one hit. Alright, last but not least, it's the Arachnos, and the Arachnos will basically, he moves right here, and he's attacking with his claws. That's three red die, and if he successfully deals damage, remember, he does the grab thing. Uh, two hits. Uh, we got to re-roll. Alright, so he got wounded once, and then of course the thing did the grab, so it knocks him this way. I suppose it probably wouldn't have gone through the door, it would have gone back here. <clears throat> so let's let's keep it like that. And now uh that was all the turns, and it is a sniper's turn, and he's got to go after spine critter. Spine critter's in his way. So he'll do that for the blue one. Uh he gets four die. Okay, it's three hits and a jam, but he got a surge so the jam doesn't bother him. Spine critter rolls. He got four shields completely. God damn it, I can't kill that spine critter. Okay, let's do another close encounters card. Activate all red aliens. Well, the only red alien we have is a xenomorph, and of course he's going to try to <clears throat> fist blader. Uh, one, two, two hits. So, two hits, she gets to roll on the die, and she defended. And now it's her turn, and uh, she is, of course, going to attack the predator. Four red die. Uh, she got three hits and a surge, which is minus one defense die. So it only rolls three die. <clears throat> it got... One shield, one surge, which is a shield, so it only took one damage. However, that's enough to kill it. So we killed our second Xeno Hunter. And uh, let's take him off the board. However, remember, he does do the suicide. So we have to do the throw, roll of three red dice for everybody in that one area. <clears throat> and uh, let's see. Okay, well, that's three hits. Alright, we'll start with her. Two shields and a surge. That's fine. Sniper. Got one surge. So, let me see. Surges count as shields. <clears throat> so, uh, he's actually going down. He fell down. He's bleeding. Alright, now the spine critter. <laughs> Alright, he rolled the blue one. He takes the damage. That's going to kill him, actually. And he's dead. However, uh, everybody that's adjacent is going to take two wounds. So let's do her first. She blocks one, so she takes one more wound. Sniper. Okay, well, the sniper's killed. He's out. He's dead. He got killed. We'll move the spine critter to uh, Cronum here. All right. <clears throat> This spine critter for the explosion, he two shields, so he takes one damage. Okay, and then the alien here, uh, didn't take any damage. He has a shield, and two shields. Okay, so <clears throat> we lost our sniper. <laughs> He was killed. 
Um, yeah. And so that is uh, her turn. Let's do in Close Encounters. Activate all wounded aliens. Let's see. We only have one that's wounded, really, and that's that green spine critter. <clears throat> and, of course, he, uh, he moves there, and he's going to attack with the jaws. It's two red die. And he got two hits. Of course, she got two shields, so she blocks it. So that's good. And that's the end of that round. So let's do another event here. Uh, neither agents nor aliens may use their effects until next phase, and we have to teleport in two signals. So let's do that. First one's teleported at the shield. And the second one's teleported at the shield again. So we have two at the shield. <clears throat> and that's it for that, that turn. Uh, we'll roll for Galaxy Defender Wings. <clears throat> nope. Okay, the Biotech got all three. So he gets uh, basically an improved tactic. Let me find that where those are. Here we go. So he gets an approved tactic. And let's see what we get. Uh, that's battery shit. Plus two hit dice. Okay. Let me take that. All right, the tank, he rolls only one, so he doesn't get anything. Sniper's dead, and she doesn't roll anything. Okay. <clears throat> so it is our hero's turn. Uh, let's start with the Marine. Uh, he's going to attack. Um, he has the Arachnos right in front of him, so it's gonna be three red dice. All right, he hits. Uh, fortunately, though, he has to he has a jam, and he has to lose an ammo. All right, so he gets to roll, and is able to block both hits. So nothing happens there, and we have the last close encounter card. Activate all Xeno hunters. We have none on the board, so we don't have to worry about that. It's the medic's turn. And what he's going to do is he's going to heal uh, Tank. He's going to roll two dice, and he's going to put out his sentry. And he heals the Tank of two wounds. Okay. And that is it for him. Let me shuffle up the uh, Close Encounters deck. Okay, and again we have Activate All Wounded Aliens, and that is just the Spine Critter. So he's going to attack. He hits twice. She rolls. And she's able to defend. So that's no problem. Although she's still hovering on that one more hit and I'm dead. You know. So, you know, we got to worry about that. However, it's Tank's turn. <clears throat> and I'm probably going to move the Tank. One, two, three. He does not have line of sight on the spine critter right now, so there's that. And uh, yeah, that's it for him. We have another close encounters card. Activate all arachnos. Okay, we have one there, and he's attacking. And he attacks with claws, and that's three red die. That's two hits. Okay, we get to reload. Well, that's one more damage <clears throat> to him. Okay. And last but not least is our girl here, and she is going to attack the spine critter. Full red die. And she hits him three times, and he gets minus one defense die. He got one shield. He has no armor. So two wounds, so that thing is dead, but however, 
we have to roll for her shield and she got it <clears throat> okay so the spine critter is out we uh, get our last alien tech piece this thing is off the board and <clears throat> so reinforcements will come next round and let's do our uh, close encounters deck activate all swarm units okay well we only have one swarm unit and that is the xenomorph here and we are equal distance between two aliens and since she doesn't have anybody attacking her uh, she is saying we'll move here and attack with its tail its tail is two blue dice and it got two hits <clears throat> And she got two shields. So she's rolling really well. <clears throat> and now we have our next event. And we have special event E. Okay, alien attacks. Uh, agents may not use devices, skills, or tactics until the next event phase. Uh-oh. Read and apply the special event. Okay, so let's see what the next special event is here. Alright, let's see. HQ to Alpha Agent. The Aerial Drone is on its way. We're about to drop a special EMP bomb on the area. This should temporarily jam the alien techs, so try and seize the moment. Over and out. Both agents and aliens must ignore any stealth ability until the next refresh phase. Okay. Agents cannot use their alien weapons until the next refresh phase. Well, we don't have any of that stuff. So, we don't have to worry. The only thing we have to worry about is the tactics type thing because <clears throat> it says we cannot use our tactics devices or skills so that's gonna be a little tough but okay <clears throat> however this goes out we send reinforcements out and let us roll for our GD okay nothing for the marine well, the biotech got one, but he needs two. Tank got nothing. And what does she get? She gets one. And she's already got a skill, so she needed two. So nothing happens on that. <clears throat> and now it's our hero's turn. And the Marine is going to spend a movement and an action to unjam his gun. He's got that stupid uh, arachnose right in front of him. So he will attack the arachnose. Uh, three dice, one hit, and he loses ammo. So there, there we go. And I'm sure the Arachnus is going to defend, and it does. So no damage done to it. What a waste. And uh, activate all spine critter. If there are no spine critters in play, teleport one. Okay, so we have to teleport a spine critter. And the explosion. And we don't have the explosion. A shield so it's going to pop up oh at the shield here and we will give it to agent Cronum okay who is now agent Cronum's turn and actually what he's going to do <clears throat> is he's going to move as well one two three four Actually, what he's going to do, he's not going to do that. He's going to heal himself. All right, he heals himself of two wounds. So he's down to two. And he will activate the sentry. One, two, and I think move four spaces. Three, four. So now as sentry sees... <clears throat> can see the alien here so we're gonna have to spawn an alien on the board so let's do that and where it's going to be a xenomorph a red xenomorph so it's right there okay <clears throat> and uh, that was his turn so let's do uh, activate all xenomorph okay so we'll start with the greenie here and he's remember he's going to attack with uh, claws this time Three red. Alright, one, two, three, 
Four hits. <clears throat> okay, one, two. If you're next to me, they attack. No, oh, that doesn't have any of that. So, okay. She goes down. This is, you know, morph will move here and attack that one with the tail. I believe. Move adjacent to the closest agent and attack with claws. Okay, claws. It's going to attack with the claws. Five. Three hits. And it defended three times, so that's good. <clears throat> Alright, and uh, now it's the tank's turn. And he will go one, two. And he has line of sight on that xenomorph now, so he will shoot that xenomorph. And uh, three dice. That's one, two, two hits, three hits, but a jam. Three hits, but a jam. That thing rolled two shields, so it defended perfectly, no damage to it. <laughs> That's great. Now we have uh, another one, activate all aliens. Okay. <clears throat> I can see this thing falling apart now. Okay, we'll start with the Arachnos here, and of course he's going to do his normal attack, which is the uh, Claws, three red. And that's one, two, three, four hits. Jeez. Now, he defends two, so he only takes two damage. However, he is grabbed again. And we'll take him back here. All right, we have the spine critter who has nobody in line of sight, so uh, he's moving two areas. One, that's it. One, two. Okay. Then we have the xenomorphs. Now this xenomorph is going to attack the tank, and he's going to attack with his tail. It's two blue, and he missed. And of course, that xenomorph is attacking <coughs> with his razor claws. Five die, one, two, three hits. And that thing defends three shields. Okay. And now it is our <coughs> her turn. Now she's no longer engaged, uh, so she can move one space. So she moves one space over this way. Next round, she has this device which she can stand back up. It's the Phoenix device, so it'll let her stand back up. We could have used it this round, but we can't use our devices. So there's that. So that's all she can do. <clears throat> Activate all Xeno Hunter. Well, we don't have any. And so that is the end of that turn. And now we have our next event. All right, special event A. Ages may flip up any used tactics. Okay, so let's do this. Alright. Read and apply this special event A in the storybook. Alright. I don't know. Was that supposed to be there? I know you're supposed to. Let me, let me check. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be there. Okay. So I only have three more left. Alright. <clears throat> each leaf, each tree, each stone in the jungle seems to be alive and alien, threatening and poised to attack. Movements all around hit an incoming storm of claws and teeth as aliens swarm around the squad. In a brief moment of clarity, the Alpha Agent activates the comm link. This is Alpha Agent HQ. We need support. We need bloody support, and we need it now. We are trapped in this bloody jungle with bloody aliens all around us, so we cannot hit them all because of the great bloody trees. We need support fire immediately. Set the sky on fire, make it rain flames and brimstone. Let loose hell and see if these aliens can escape it. Alpha Agent out. Alpha Agent, this is HQ. We copy. Support underway, but you are at ground zero. You could be hit, and Alpha Agent interrupts the call, screaming, The hell with ground zero. Burn them, burn them all. We will come out of this alive. Alpha Agent, this is HQ. 
Aerial drone in position. Fire and brimstone will rain in 3, 2, 1. All agents, drones, and aliens on the battlefield suffer two wounds. Remove all the map overlays from the battlefield. Okay. <clears throat> so we move all the map overlays, which are these little things. So all these are gone. So I guess they just knocked out the doors. Everything. So kaboom. Okay, we're gonna have a lot to do this phase. Alright, so first of all now well no, he's still he's still not in line of sight of those. However, the sentry drone is in line of sight of let's say this one right here. So we flip this and this is going to be an alien. Alright, and it's going to be another Xeno Hunter. Our last one, which we kind of needed to get on the board. <clears throat> okay. Um, that was before the overlay, so he's the only one that's not going to take two wounds. So the spine critter there is taking two wounds. That Xenomorph Alien is taking two wounds. Okay, and we have to see if the um, Sentry suffers a wound. It does not from the acid damage. However, the Sentry suffers two wounds. <clears throat> Of course, we get to roll. We get to roll for everybody. So let's let's roll for the spine critter. Spine critter defended. Let's roll for the uh, sentry. He defended one, so he only takes one. That is xenomorph. Let's roll for it. He defended, so he didn't take any wounds. So yikes. Okay, <clears throat> the medic. He actually heals one, so he's going to be at one and a two, he's going to be at three damage. Tank takes two wounds. Okay. Ah, uh, see her. Okay, she actually defended, so she doesn't take any wounds on that. This alien... Uh, takes one wound because of the shield. It has a shield, so it takes one wound. <clears throat> and then he has to roll for that wound on that. And he got a shield, so he's okay. <clears throat> the Arachnos uh, did not defend. So he takes two wounds. <clears throat> and, of course, he... Takes one wound. Okay. Now, <clears throat> um, let's see. Um, now we ha we're going to get our alien weapon because maybe we sent that off for reinforcements. But first, let's roll for uh, GD wings. And we'll start with a uh, green. No. Biotech. No. Tank. No. her. Now, she rolled two. So she does get an improved tactic. <clears throat> That's two shields. So she'll get two shields. <clears throat> there. And now let's uh, try to draw for a weapon. See who gets the improved weapon, what we get. Oh, these are the alien weapons. Yeah. We don't get we don't get that yet. Not quite far enough. Here's the regular weapons. Oops. Here. Okay. It's
gets the tank, he gets it, and uh, he gets the Vulcan. Uh, it's a little bit better than the M6, so it comes with five ammo. <clears throat> he don't have to worry about that jam anymore. So there we go. Okay, so it's our hero's turn. And the Marine is still there. He's fighting the Arachnos. And um, remember, he ran out of ammo. First thing we're going to do is use his tactic. <clears throat> Heal one damage. Okay, it's fine. Then we got to use the pistol, which is two blue. If one or less, plus one hit die. Okay, well, that's three blue then. Okay, it's two hits, and a surge, which is three hits. The Arachnos defended all three, so he's still alive. Okay, and now we have a close encounters. Activate all red aliens. Well, we only have two red aliens on the board. Uh, of course, we have a Predator and a Xenomorph. Well, let's do the Xenomorph first. <clears throat> he's attacking the sentry. And he got one, two, three, three hits. And we got one shield, so it's on two damage. So he's still alive. Okay, now the Xenomorph will go. And he doesn't really have anybody in line of sight right now. It still is not, well, I guess you could say he's in his line of sight. So, because uh, the red alien is not in his line of sight. That's a shame, too, because he would attack the red alien. Oh, well. <laughs> so he's going after the biotech. And he is attack with cannon. He's actually two areas away. Okay, one, two, yeah. If wounded, move two areas away. He's not wounded in the hill. Otherwise, attack with cannon. So he's attacking with the cannon, and it's five red dice. That's four, five hits. My God. Five hits. Okay, well, he got two shields, and he's able to heal uh, a damage, so he goes to two damage. And two plus three is five, so he's five wounds. Okay. All right, now it's his turn, and uh, we want to try to kill that thing, but I don't know. I would have to move, and then we'd have to see <clears throat> the other alien. Maybe we'd hope it's a Xenomorph. I also want to get him to heal a girl. So we are going to move down. We're going to move one, two, three, four. Okay, that's his movement. And he can heal her because uh, she's only a certain area away. So he gets two red die and he gets uh, automatic hit because of his passive ability. All right, so he heals her two. So she gets to stand back up. <clears throat> So she is okay. And that's that turn. And we have activate no aliens. So now it's the tank's turn. <clears throat> and he's attacking the xenomorph right in front of him. And remember, he has this uh, improved gun here. So, uh, yeah. And he's going to use this. He's going to gain four shields. His device. He's going to gain four shield markers. Okay, one, two. He has to burn an ammo. And we'll go ahead and burn uh, another ammo to do an extra hit. And let's see, three with the surge. <clears throat> so that's four hits. And he got a jam. <clears throat> All right. But however, I'm going to re-roll this one. I'm going to spin my tactic and re-roll. 
the jam. Okay, well, that's fine. Better. No jam. Another ammo loss, though. So I have two ammo, but I do have four hits. So we're going to roll for that. Oh, man. He blocked every bit of it, man. Wow. Three shields, and then plus he gets one shield. Actually, he does not get one shield. Um, the shield was used when he took a wound during the uh, bombardment so actually he's going to take one wound <clears throat> yeah because the shield was used on the bombardment so he's going to take one wound so he's got two wounds he's barely and now we got to roll for the acid all right we defend against that and that's it for that activate all xeno hunter okay all right now the xeno hunter does not have anybody in his line of sight we can honestly say that this is cut off right here and he has nobody in his line of sight so let's see what he does when he has nobody in line of sight he can move one area towards the closest agent well guess who the closest agent is it's this guy <clears throat> so he moves here and now it is the, um, our girl's turn and um, we just need one wound on him She's going to use her pistol. Eh, who cares? We're going to move her one, and she's going to attack that thing with the sword and try to kill it. All right, it's one, two, three, four hits and a surge, so it's minus one defense die. All right, it is dead. So we killed this alien. Uh, all right, let's get it, it off the board. We don't have to worry about this guy no more for the time being. However... Uh, all adjacent has got to suffer a wound. That's her and the tank. Now she can roll. She rolls a shield, so no problem. Tank, he rolls a shield, no problem. So that's the end of that turn, and our last close encounter is activate all Xenomorph. Well, we have a Xenomorph there, and he's attacking the sentry. If anything, the sentry's just buying us some time. One, two, three hits. Three hits. And it defended two, so it is dead. So the sentry's gone. So we can take the sentry off the board. And there's the xenomorph. And now we got to have a fight. Because these two are close to each other. However, that's the end of the turn. Uh, so let's do an event. And we have, all right, teleport in signals. Four signals. Well, we only got three left. And then all signals move three areas towards the closest agent. Okay, so that's going to be a problem there. All right, so let's start. Let's figure out where we do these. All right, shield. We don't have a burst. Another burst. All right, lightning bolt. Shield. shield okay all right so this thing moves one one it's going to move right here and it's an alien of course and it's going to be an arachnos it's a blue arachnos so we'll put that right there um we got four up there and i'm gonna have to shuffle the alien deck here so let me shuffle the alien deck. Okay, so I set the board up, moved the signals, and it, everybody popped up, and this is what we got. <clears throat> also rode for their GD wings. Nobody got anything. So, uh, yeah, so it's our hero's turn. And, of course, we still have our Marine here, and he's still fighting this one Arachnos. So he's going to uh, uh, go ahead and attack. Remember, he has to attack with his pistol. And he missed. He totally whiffed. So that's it. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Close encounters. Activate all wounded aliens. <clears throat> I believe we only have we have two. We have the green arachnos, which is here, and we have the green spine critter, which is up there. 
A green spine critter doesn't have anybody in line of sight, so he's just going to move two areas. One, two. However, the arachnos will attack. Three red. Three hits. Okay, re-roll off Feldman's. So he takes one damage. So he's close to dying as well. And we're getting grabbed and we're just getting moved over, over here. There's no door there. Okay, so it's uh, uh, Marine's turn. Um, I'm sorry, the Biotech's turn. And I think what he's going to do is he's going to shoot him here. Try to get that spine critter out of there uh, with our shotgun. And that's basically only two hits. I want to use my improved plus two hit die. Alright, it's two more hits. That's four hits. Uh, this thing rolled perfectly. Only takes two damage. So that spine critter only took two damage. All right, and then we have activate all swarm units. Now, <clears throat> we have two Xenomorph on the board. However, one of them, one of them has no line of sight on anybody. The other one and the Predator are actually going to attack. So we'll start with this one. This one's attacking the Predator, believe it or not. It's uh, one area away. And attack with razor claws. So it rolls five dice. Alright, it gets two hits and an immobilize. However, the predator gets to roll and he blocked all damage. Now that one has no line of sight on anybody. However, <clears throat> it will also, uh, since it doesn't have line of sight, moves three areas towards the closest agent. Well, that's the closest agent. <clears throat> okay, uh, it's the tank's turn. He's going to attack the arachnos. Yeah, attack the arachnos. And uh, here we go, four die. Uh, one, two, three, four, five hits, but a jam. And the Arachnos rolled four shields. Would you believe that? So it's going to take just one damage. Horrible. Horrible roll. And that's it for that turn. <clears throat> Activate all spine critters. Okay, so uh, he has line of sight, so he's going to move one and attack the Marine. Attack with Jaws, so we get three red. Uh, two hits, three hits. One, all right, he heals one, four. Six. So he's at six damage. <clears throat> okay. And this spine critter does not have line of sight on anybody right now. So it will move two areas towards the closest agent, which I guess would be the tank. One, two, <clears throat> and that's it. Uh, right, and now it's her turn, and she will attack the arachnos. Jeez. Okay, this is two hits. She got anything she can do? Your next attack causes a minus one defense die. Okay, well that's actually good. We were able to do one damage on it. So that's two damage on that Arachnos. Okay. And that's the end of that turn. Activate all aliens. <clears throat> okay, we're going to have a problem here. Oh boy. Let's start with the Xenomorphs. They're attacking the Predator. 
So let's start with them. Five dice. One, two, <clears throat> three. Three hits. Predator rolled three shields. No problem. The other Xenomorph. One, two, three hits. And he got... Two, so he takes one damage. Okay, now he's going to attack. And he's attacking with a fist blade. Alright, he got one, two, three hits. And it gets minus two defense die. And it rolled. Alright, so it takes one damage. Only one of them takes one damage. However, he has to roll for um, acid. And he does not get it. So he actually takes another damage, which is good. We want the Xeno Hunter dead. We want them all dead, but we want the Xeno Hunter dead. <clears throat> Okay, uh, alright, so we got those two out of the way. Uh, let's do our spine critters here. And, uh, we'll start with the blue one there, and of course he's going to attack with his jaws. One hit. And he defended. Okay, so then the other spine critter right there, he is moving into attack. And he attacks with his jaws. He's a green one. So only gets two red die. And one hit. And he able to defend. Because he has shields. Okay, now we have the arachnosis. <clears throat> and we'll start with him. <clears throat> Three red. One hit. And he defended. Okay, and we start with that one. And that's going to attack our girl there. And it attacks with a... Uh, four red dice. Okay, three hits. Okay, and then she goes down. However, we're going to use... Her Phoenix ability, and she stands right back up. So that's good on that. Right, then we gotta do that. Okay, so that's that. And then that one, guys, uh, line of sight on tank. He's one, two, three, four away. So I don't think he's gonna attack. He's gonna go move three areas. One, two, three. Okay, so he's going to move there. Alright, and that's it for that. And we have our next event. Let's see here. Fast recovery. Two agents each gain one health. Okay, I think I'm glad with that. We'll, we'll have him gain a health and she will actually gain a health. <clears throat> Back. All signals move two areas. We don't have any signals. And we teleport in three signals I had to do that here okay so let's see where we teleport them at well, we don't have one of those shield so one's going up here another shield man I love that shield I guess and a lightning bolt this time, which is right here. Put that there. Well, we can actually put that there. Okay. All right. <clears throat> we have one more event round to go. If we can survive, we can hold on. We might can do something here. <clears throat> okay, so uh, we'll roll for GD wings. Uh, let's see, he got two. He's already got his improved tactic. Alright, so he does get to flip his uh flip his thing. So now that probably means he's gonna get a shield.
Yep, he's going to get a shield. So let's put a shield right there by him. Okay. All right. He goes. He got one. He's already spent. Tank goes. None. And her. None. Okay. He's still in his ever never ending battle with this guy. He's going to roll three. And he actually got one, two, three hits on the Arachnos. The Arachnos defended twice, so it's going to take one damage. <clears throat> it's still alive. And that's the end of that turn. Activate all Xeno Hunter. So the Xeno Hunter is going to attack that uh, alien with his Razor Fist. And he does no damage. He rolled all shields. Okay. <clears throat> Our healing agent here <clears throat> is going to attack with his shotgun. And remember, he has area damage. So that's fine with him. So he rolls three die. Now he's going to have to lose the ammo, but he's got plenty of that. He got one, two, three, four hits. Four hits. Spine Critter first. Uh, spine Critter is going to die. So this Spine Critter is dead. Take it out. And let's roll for his defense. And he got it. Okay, now the Aragnos. Got three shields. So he's going to take one wound. Okay. And that is it. Next turn, activate all Xeno Hunters. So the Xeno Hunter is going to activate again. We're getting lucky. And he got one hit. And so the thing rolls minus one defense die. But it's shielded. Okay, the tank, he's going to have to unjam his weapon. And now he will attack. <coughs> And he's going to discard both of these. Why not? And we're going to do area damage and an extra damage. Okay, we did one, two. Yeah, that's not good. Three, four damage. Four damage. And we'll do the green spine critter first. And actually, uh... Block two, however, it is dead as well. And now we have to roll for defense, for tank, and for our girl agent there. They're both adjacent. Tank is going to take one damage, so his shield goes down to two. And the girl, she rolled the shield, so she's okay. Alright. And then the Arachnos has to defend... And he rolls one shield and then one bolt, so that's a armor, so he takes two damage. Okay. And that is Tank's turn. So let's do a... Activate all red aliens. Well, we're just going to have a big fight here. So let's do the Xeno Hunter first. See what he does. One, two, three hits. Minus one defense die. And that thing got two, so it takes another damage. Now the predator has to roll a defense die for, uh, and he got it for shield. Okay, now the xenomorphs are attacking him, and they get five red die. One, two, three, four, five. That's one, two, three hits. And he gets. Two shields, so he's going to take one more damage. So he's at three. Okay, and then the other Xenomorph is attacking. One, two, three, four, five hits. Five hits. Aliens versus Predator, baby. Five hits. He rolls two shields, no surges, so he's going to take three damage. He's at six health. 
Okay, that is it for that. So it is our her turn, and she's attacking that or uh, Arachnos. Oh, that Arachnos is dead. No, he's not. He's got three. She's going to attack the Arachnos. One, two, three hits. Minus one defense die. Two. It takes one more damage. So it's at four. Uh, so it's not quite dead yet. And um, let's see. Maybe she. Uh, your next attack causes. Maybe she should use that tactic. Minus one defense die. So we'll only roll two defense die. Okay. Two. So it took two more. Takes one more. It's dead. It's out. Gone. So that arachnose is dead. You take that one off the board. And that is the end of her turn. And we have uh, this here. Close Encounters. Activate all arachnose. Well, we got one right there. And of course, he's attacking our medic. And he gets four red. One, two, three, four hits. Alright, two, and I want to use my tactic, re-roll one defense die result. Three, so he only takes, he takes two damage. So he goes down, actually. <clears throat> and I guess you could say he's grabbed, so he'll move here. Okay, and last event phase. Two agents, each agent discards one ammo. Well, I can't do that. Well, yeah, I can. I... All signals move one area towards the alpha agent. And then we have to teleport in signals. So this goes here. This goes here. Another alien. We get a red xenomorph. We can't see the other xenomorph. And let's teleport in some signals. This is the last round. We're going to teleport in three signals. One at the shield again. Another one at the shield. And another one at the shield. So we're, we're okay. Okay. So it's a Marine's turn, and he's still locked in this battle with our Arachnos. So he has the three die. Well, he got two hits. The Arachnos uh, takes one damage. It's finally dead. So that Arachnos is dead. He's out. There we go. Alright. Close encounters. Activate all Xenomorph. Okay, so <clears throat> he cannot see this one. He can't however see him, so he's going to move here. However, these two are attacking the Predator again. One, two, three, four, five hits. And the Predator gets two shields. <clears throat> so he takes three more damage. That Predator is dead. So that Predator is dead. That's the three three predators, three of them dead. That's one of our. That was our mission goal, to have all three of them killed. The other one's gonna move here, <clears throat> and he's gonna attack the medic. One, two, three, four, five hits. One, two, three, four. Oh, let's see here. And he's dead. So the medic is dead. The medic died. But we're still okay. We still can accomplish this mission. All right, well, that, well no medic won't go, so the tank will go. <clears throat> the tank will move back. One, two. Or should he attack? Hmm. Well, he's out of ammo, so he can't. 
So let's move him back one, two, three. And we, oh, that might have been a mistake. Yeah, that's a mistake. Then with that alien would pop up. So move one, two, and then leave him there. Close encounters come. Activate no aliens. And her turn. Um, one, two, three, four. And that's it. Close encounters time. Activate all xenomorph. We have three xenomorph on the board. They have line of sight of nobody. So we're gonna move three areas. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. And that's it. We 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 accomplished our mission. Um we lost two agents, but let's see here. Um Mission accomplished. Alright, let's see here. Alright, there are no more Xeno Hunter oh, and no more Xeno Morph in play at the end of the mission. Well, that's not true. There are no more Xeno Hunter in play at the end of the mission. So we partially accomplished. So let's see what happens with that. You fought hard into the last bullet, killing the fearful hunters, but the containment is only partially successful. You know the bug hunt will go on for a little longer, just enough to ruin your holidays. You hate those aliens, not so much for their wickedness, but for their bloody sense of timing. They attack exactly when you have something better to do than place some bullets in, in their bot bloody alien chitlin head. And as the Osprey takes you back to the base and resupplies, some of you still think about your motorcycle, while others think about the hurriedly left drinks on the beach. Somewhere, somehow, something will pay. Okay. We partially accomplished that one. Uh, <laughs> we had basically a lot of aliens versus predator. It didn't happen uh, up until the end, though. However, when aliens and predator fought each other, and the reason I wanted to do this one is because I wanted to introduce the predator. Because also, not just being an alien, but there is a player character that's a predator. You can be a predator in this game. And I wanted to introduce him and, and, and predators and say, hey, maybe there was a misunderstanding and a uh, predator can come in and we can use a predator as a player character coming up pretty soon. Maybe with some other one observed and saw the hunt, say, hey, man, these, all the pre they killed all our predators. Maybe they're worthy. Uh, sadly, though, you cannot be an alien. <clears throat> but I thought it was pretty neat. I like I like this game. I, I like how they do that. Now, the the next mission is also, I think, going to be another one off their website with some other Kickstarter exclusives. They have like a War of the Worlds type one monsters that are Kickstarter exclusive, so we'll probably end up going against them pretty soon as well. Um, so until then, I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun and see you next time.